If you are looking for the best places to visit in Austin, this video is for you. Well, Austin has a few nicknames, ATX is one of them, and the city is lovingly known as the Bat City to some, and City of the Violet Crown. It's also known as the live music capital of the world. That's enough intro, let's get started. Firstly, there is Zilker Park. This 351-acre park offers a wide range of activities. The Zilker Botanical Garden is a beautiful place and it's known as the jewel in the heart of Austin to enjoy the diverse plant life. And let's not forget the Zilker Hillside Theater, an outdoor venue that hosts a variety of performances, including Shakespeare in the Park, musicals, and dance shows. A miniature train Zilker Zephyr takes you on a scenic ride through the park. Visitors can also learn about the natural world at the Austin Nature and Science Center. Parking is a hassle. You have to park far away and walk. Next up is the Texas State Capitol. This historic building is not just a government hub. It's also a stunning piece of architecture. It completed in 1888 stands 14 feet taller than the U.S. Capitol in Washington. The free tours are available seven days a week and provide fascinating insights into the state's legislative process and history. Don't miss the view from the Capitol Dome, where you can get a panoramic perspective of downtown Austin. Now, moving to the Barton Springs Pool. It offers a unique swimming experience, making it a local favorite for beating the Texas heat Located within Zilker Park, it's a natural spring, so the water is always pretty chilly regardless of the outside temperature. It spans three acres and is fed by underground springs, with an average temperature of 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're here for a quick dip or an all-day outing, Barton Springs Pool offers a refreshing break from the hustle and bustle of the city. It's open to the public every day except Thursdays when it's closed for cleaning. You just pay a small fee, I think it's around $8 for the day. Pro tip, if you arrive before 8 a.m. it's free to get in. Next spot is South Congress Avenue or SoCo. It's the place to go for shopping, dining, and live music. This vibrant street is lined with quirky boutiques, fantastic restaurants, and some of the best live music venues in the city. If you're in the area, Sightseer and Radio is a fantastic spot for coffee and beer. And don't miss the amazing Tacos Veracruz truck outside. Cosmic offers a similar vibe, though I personally prefer Radio. Bolden Creek Cafe is a vegan restaurant that even non-veg folks will love. Foodies will love home slice pizza and Garo's Taco Bar both offering delicious bites. Lil Nona's Pizza Truck serves up delicious vegan pizza. The Far Out Lounge has some fun live music events. For great brews, check out Nomadic Brewery and St. Elmo Brewery. Be sure to stroll down the avenue and soak in the lively atmosphere. Next is the Lady Bird Lake Hike and Bike Trail. This 10-mile trail loops around the lake providing stunning views of the skyline and plenty of spots to relax. There's a boardwalk with great views of the city. You can watch the bats come out at sunset up to Lamar Bridge. My favorite part is the pedestrian bridge. You can get coffee from Merritt, then walk over to sit and people watch. The Anne and Roy Butler hike and bike trail is also dog friendly. It's a great way to experience the city's natural beauty and you can rent bikes, kayaks, or paddle boards from various vendors around the lake. Next comes the Pennybacker Bridge, but locals have always called it the 360 Bridge. It's a must-visit for breathtaking views and a bit of tranquility. This architectural marvel spans the Colorado River and offers one of the most picturesque spots in the city. It connects the northern and southern sections of the Loop 360 Highway, also known as the Capital of Texas Highway. The best way to experience the bridge is by hiking up to the nearby viewpoints. 
It's a favorite spot for photographers, especially at sunset. This iconic bridge is definitely offering a perfect blend of natural beauty and impressive engineering. Next up is downtown Austin, beating heart of the city. It's where you'll find a mix of historic landmarks, modern skyscrapers, and vibrant nightlife. You can walk to S. Congress and have breakfast at Cafe Noce, Minana, or lunch at Perla's or Abba. You can window shop or have a few brunchy drinks. This area is home to many of Austin's top attractions, including the 6th Street Entertainment District and the historic Driscoll Hotel. During the day, explore the various museums and shops, and at night, enjoy live music and delicious food at the numerous bars and restaurants. The architecture is amazing, and on-site coffee shop and cafe, the rooftop has great views. It's also connected to the hike and bike trail, so if it isn't stupidly hot, go for a walk. While you're in that area, 2nd Street has some fun shops like Toy Joy and the adjoining candy shop. With its dynamic atmosphere and endless things to do, downtown Austin is must-visit. Moving to Hippie Hollow Park Located on the shores of Lake Travis, it's the only clothing-optional public park in Texas, attracting visitors who enjoy sunbathing and swimming in a more natural setting. The park is known for its beautiful limestone outcroppings and clear waters, making it a popular spot for swimming and picnicking. The park offers a distinctive experience, and it is suitable for those who love adventures and looking to embrace the city's laid-back and open-minded spirit. The rules are simple, $8 cash entry, no one under 18, no pets, no nudity in the parking lot, no glass bottles, and no lewd behavior. Just bring sturdy shoes, a towel or chair, a raft, drinks, snacks, and sunscreen. Single women and men, whether gay or straight, will find it welcoming and safe. Hippie Hollow is a must-visit in Austin for its old-school, unique vibe. Keep in mind that this park is for adults only, so plan accordingly. Next comes the Bullock Texas State History Museum. It is a must visit to dive deep into the rich history of Texas. This museum offers interactive exhibits and artifacts that tell the story of Texas from its earliest days to the present. There is a permanent exhibit, The Story of Texas, which features artifacts like the original Goddess of Liberty statue that once stood atop the state capitol. The museum also has an IMAX theater that shows educational films and blockbusters. With its engaging displays and educational programs, it's a great place to learn about the state's unique heritage and culture. Lastly, you can visit the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. Located at the University of Texas at Austin is the State Botanical Garden and Arboretum of Texas. Dedicated to the conservation of native plants, this beautiful center features stunning gardens, walking trails, and educational exhibits. Founded by Lady Bird Johnson, the former First Lady, the center showcases the beauty and importance of native plants in sustaining biodiversity. The various gardens are designed to inspire and educate visitors about the role of native plants in the environment. If you're a nature enthusiast or just looking for a peaceful retreat, the center is a wonderful way to connect with nature and appreciate the natural beauty of Texas. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thanks for watching and happy travels.